Hey, what's up everyone? This is Crystal Clear 101 with another toy review. And I am reviewing the second figure in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Classic Collection. I am reviewing Donatello. Now, in case you're wondering why I have a speed loader right here, um, it's because the bottom of his packaging is a little damaged and it will not stay upright. But first off, here is the front of Donatello's packaging. And just like with Leonardo and the other figures, they're going to say Classic Collection in this top right corner. Now, the back of the packaging. And as I said with Leonardo, it's going to be exactly the same for all the other turtles. I'm still going to be showing that. Alright, now enough about me talking about Donatello's packaging. Let's go ahead and get him out. Let's start playing with him. All right, now here is the Classics Collection Donatello in all his 1988 glory. Now, let's go ahead and have a 360 degree view of this figure. Now, just like with Leonardo, the only real difference between this and the original from 88 is the bottom of his shell right down here. It's got a 2013 copyright date. But what I always thought was interesting about this one was the simple fact he actually comes with two of these bow staffs instead of one like you would see him in the original cartoon series. But um, I think the only reason they really did include a second bow staff with him originally was the simple fact that the uh, runner, which would ha have all the weapons like this, um, would always have two of the um, turtles' primary weapon, but the way I view it is in the event you actually lose one of these, you have an extra, either put it in his hand or put it in his little, I guess, sheath you can call it on his back. But articulation for Donatello is the exact same as Leonardo. He's got a swivel head, swivel arm right at the shoulder, swivel forearm, and ball jointed legs. And just like with Leonardo, he, his legs are already pre-positioned. And unless you have his legs in a very specific pose, you are not going to get him to stand. But aside from that, he's still a cool figure to have. So what's my personal verdict on the Classics Collection Donatello? Um, I'll go ahead and tell you, it's exactly the same as with Leonardo, which is if you are a diehard Ninja Turtles fan... And you do not have any of the originals from 1988. This is the perfect way to get the originals without having to look for them. Now, are they worth the $11.99 to $12.99 that they retail for? Uh, in my personal opinion, I wish these would have been a little bit cheaper. Preferably more like $9.99, personally. But, if you're a big enough fan and you really do like these... Um, then yeah, I would, then I guess I could see, you know, paying that for these, but again, if you're a diehard fan and you do not have any of these particular turtles in your collection, then yeah, I would go get them because I doubt you're going to get another opportunity to pick up another Ninja Turtles like the, like these, um, unless they do like a 30th anniversary of these figures, but that is going to wrap up my review on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Classics Collection Donatello. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe.